my channel. I am Tori Lynn. Let's blossom today. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about my favorite Ulta Beauty products and brands. Um, obviously I haven't tried all of the brands and products at Ulta, but I've tried a good share and I want to share with you guys my favorite brands and my favorite products. Uh, so let's start out with my very first high-end purchase from Ulta, Tartlet and Bloom Palette. Um, I have since fallen in love with Tartlet eyeshadows and a few of their other products. I haven't tried their whole line. I haven't messed in their different skincare and only used one of their foundations. But I have since picked up two other palettes, eyeshadow palettes. Each one is amazing. They're all very beautiful, neutral colors. This is the Tartlet Bloom. Obviously, you can see that I use the crud out of this. I actually use this probably every day for about a year and only hit pan in three shades so they're very pigmented they last a long time they are so amazing um, this is the original tartlet palette it's more of a cool toned neutral and um, this one I actually just used on one of my more recent videos that I will link down below I believe that was the um, prom makeup look video and then the tartlet um, Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2 palette. This is also another really pretty neutral cut palette. I actually use this palette for my wedding. I would recommend absolutely as one either one of these to be a starter palette. Like I said, this was my original starter palette. Um, the In Bloom, it's got more warm tones. So it depends on if you like warm tones or cool tones. I do have another, a third palette in this particular collection that I never purchased. Um, it's I think it's called Fire... Might be wrong about that, but it's really, really warm toned. It's got like reds and more oranges and some really warm toned browns. Um, it's a really pretty palette, but I just never picked it up because I had these two and I felt like these sufficed enough. And then I also grabbed this one. Actually, I think I got this one in a boxy charm a couple years ago and I absolutely love it. I have never been disappointed with an eyeshadow from Tarte. My absolute all time favorite Tarte product that I have never found a product in another brand that beats is the Tarte Shape Tape. If you guys haven't tried the Tarte Shape Tape, you absolutely should. It is a stunning product. Um, it's thick and it covers so well. It is amazing. It is my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite holy grail concealer. This one came out a few years ago and I got it shortly after they released it and have purchased it over and over and over again because it's amazing. And um, each one of these lasts me, it's, I mean, none of their, none of these products are cheap because they are high end, but this lasts me probably about six months, one little tube, using it religiously every day. It's amazing, absolute wonderful product. If you like a thick con concealer or you're looking for a good concealer, check out the Shape Tape if you haven't already. I recently picked this up. This is their Amazonian clay blushes, which they've had forever, and people rave about them all the time, and I never tried one until a couple months ago. I picked one up for my um, Ulta haul video. They have a pretty wide range of blushes in this line. This one is in the shade Risque, but they're just so, um, they're Amazonian clay, so they just have this really fine, soft texture with amazing pigment. Um, another product I love from Tarte is the um, Tarte Tardiest Lip Paint. This is in the shade Delish, and this is one of my all-time favorite lip colors to wear. I feel like it goes with so many looks. I also wore this recently on my channel in, um, oh, it was the first letter name video where I went through and I picked out products or brands that started with the letter T. And this was the lip I wore, and of course I was wearing a pretty pink eye look that day, and it worked really well. This also really works when you're wearing more orangey, red, burnt, you know, burnt tones. This works super well for it. looks good with black. It looks good with everything. I absolutely love this color. I absolutely love this color. Again, it was called Delish, and I first tried this. And I think an Ipsy sent me a sample size of this. And then I was like, oh my gosh, I love that shade so much. I had to go and buy it. 
Um, a product from Tarte that I have recently gotten into that I've had for a while was the Tarte um, Pro Glow Highlight Liquid Highlight. I did not like liquid highlights, and then recently in one of my videos, um, I tested it out. And I don't love liquid highlights because they can be difficult to work with and I never figured out the right way for me to do it until in the middle of a video um, I tested this out. Also the same video as that lip product. And um, actually made a gorgeous stunning highlight. This is called, or this is in the shade Stunner. Um, so if you like a liquid highlight, this is actually a really good one to go for. Or if you don't wear a lot of foundation and you just want a little shimmer to your skin, this would be really good as well. So that's kind of it for Tarte. Let's move into one of my other all-time fave high-end brands that you can pick up at Ulta. It is Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, I only own one of their, well, technically I own one True Palette and then... Um, long time ago I went and ordered four single shadow shades and they sent it to me in like its own little Z palette kind of thing. This is the Modern Renaissance palette. It is also another great starter. It's got a lot of nudes, it's got some shimmers, it's got some mattes, and it has a little bit of color pop in it to, uh, you know, give you a little extra if you want to try something a little more creative. Uh, this palette is a couple years old as well. But it's lasted me a long time and they're all very pigmented and very easy to use. I love palettes that when you look at them you can instantly see kind of a color theme or an eye look kind of pops out to you. Something you know you feel like you could okay this color would look good with this color and this color. I don't love palettes that you look at them and there's just like you know greens and browns and oranges and like all these different colors. Because then I feel like I don't even know where to start. I like palettes that show you okay this all can go together. I can make so many great looks with this one palette because it all just blends together in such a great pattern. You know, they do a good job. Um, another reason I love Anastasia is their brow products. Now I know Benefit is known um, as the brow, you know, the brow gods. They're kind of the ones that everybody uses their products. But I love Anastasia Beverly Hills. I originally started using their uh, brow definer pencil. It's just shades probably too dark for me now. I don't even remember. Yeah, dark brown. Let's, I started using this when my hair was really dark. And um, then I moved to the pomade. This is the Anastasia uh, Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Taupe. Both of these products are amazing. They give you such clean, crisp um, lines. They last for a really long time. They just look really good. These two products, so I had to pick one. I am a pomade girl, but I do like pencils as well. So um, I kind of continue to use that. Um, this one product is from ABH as well. I picked this up um, sometime last fall. It's their uh, loose setting powder, and it is really, really good. It's great for um, Glam. I know I've talked about this in the last couple of videos that I've used it. That it's good for a more glam look because it leaves the skin where you set it pretty bright. It's got a very strong brightening component to it. So if you aren't looking to really brighten that under eye and make it pop or give it that contrast with a nice bronzer, then I wouldn't recommend this product. But if you like having that real bright under eye, then this product is amazing. It also sets your foundation really well if that's what you're going for. Um, I like that it doesn't give flashback with photos and it just is really easy to blend to work into your skin. It doesn't leave your eyes crusty or cakey underneath. Um, speaking of Benefit, this is another one of my all-time favorite products. It is the, uh, the Hoola Bronzer and um, their um, Porefessional Primer. Now I want to say that this primer was the very first high-end product that I ever bought. I went to a Macy's, I wasn't at an Ulta, I went to a Macy's and the first gal that approached me worked for Benefit. I didn't even know about primer when I started getting into high-end makeup and so she talked me into buying this primer and I have purchased this primer so many times over again. It gives your skin a flawless, beautiful look. Um, I believe I also wore this on my wedding day with um, a mixture of um, another primer that we'll talk about here in a minute. Um, I mixed them because one's a little more mattifying than the other. But um, both these products are amazing. I have also purchased the Hoola Bronzer a billion times. Um, I don't remember when or why I picked it up, but something, probably watching someone else's makeup video, um, made me go and purchase it. 
and it's my absolute favorite bronzer. If I had to choose this bronzer or something else, who knows, probably the most expensive bronzer in the world, I'd still pick that. Um, the other primer that I used on my wedding day was the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I haven't really messed with a lot of Smashbox products. I don't know why. Um, I just don't. When I walk into Ulta, because everything is so overwhelming, um, it usually seems like some products and brands stand out to me more than others. And for some reason, Smashbox is not one that really stands out to me when I go into the store. But this primer I got the for the first time in a... No, actually, I think I bought this for the first time. Um, but I bought this primer, and I actually bought this and their Prime Setting Mist that also worked out. Their Photo Finish, I think it's Photo Finish Setting Mist, works really well. I've never repurchased the Setting Mist, but I have repurchased this a few times. ColourPop is really good. I don't have a lot of their conventional, typical products. I have their um, Disney Designer Collection. Um, I have both the eyeshadow, I have a blush, a highlight, and two lip colors. And um, the eyeshadow palette's really good. It's very pigmented, super pretty, has a really good mixture of mattes and shimmers, and it has these balm glitter shades in the center. Um, it's very warm tone, and it has some pops of color. So if you're looking for a palette that's got more color, but you still want it to feel like you could look at it and say, okay, I can make a good look out of this, I'd say this palette, it doesn't have a lot of neutrals, but it's got some really soft pinks and then some deeper colors to build some depth and send some good shimmers to make a pretty eyelid look. So um, I really do recommend this collection. Um, they had a whole bunch of blushes and bronzers, or blushes and highlights. Um, this blush is in the shade Kissing a Frog. It's just a really pretty nude with a slight shimmer to it. And then the highlight is um, Horse and Carriage, and this is a gorgeous highlight. Um, ColourPop, if you're looking for a more cheap end of makeup to go for, ColourPop is amazing. They have a lot of natural skin stuff. They have a lot of, you know, full coverage stuff. They have a huge variety of products, and they're all at a really, really, really good price. The very first ColourPop product I ever used was the ColourPop highlight in the shade Flexitarian. Um, I saw one of my favorite YouTubers raving about this. I mean, just look at that shine. It's gorgeous. Um, it is kind of spongy. It's kind of a weird texture, and I feel like I have to use a smaller, more dense brush to get a good look out of it. But once you get that, man, it just beams to the gods. It is gorgeous. And they have really great lip products. Um, I have a few right here. There's, a, I guess, just two right next to me, even though I know I have more. This one's in the shade Stripper, and this is in the shade Beeper. Sorry, Strip and Beeper. And they're both really pretty nudes. I have another one called Verona that's a really dark, kind of purpley mauve color. Very gorgeous. Um, they're, these liquid lips last a really long time. They sit on the lips super well, and they're super comfortable. Um, if you're wanting to get into high-end makeup but don't want to spend a lot of money, ColourPop is where it's at, you guys. They have um, that I... Another line that I have um, tested out on my channel was the Pretty Fresh line. It's a very, um, hyaluronic acid infused line, so this it's got a lot more skincare asset to it, um, a lot more age defying. This is the hyaluronic acid tinted moisturizer, which is really gorgeous, and you can use it to build up um, to uh, almost full coverage, more like a medium to full coverage foundation. And then they also have the full coverage concealer. This one is definitely a lot thicker and more full coverage. And then they had the, um, both a primer and a setting mist, which I didn't pull the setting mist out. But, um, all these products were really good. Um, I like this because it, um, you can get a full coverage out of it. And it's actually just a tinted moisturizer. It's not even a foundation. So, that's really awesome. If you're looking for a foundation, um, that's not heavy, you can get some full coverage out of this would be a really good one to go for another brand that's really affordable at um ulta beauty that i don't really have a lot of products in um i have a lot of their brushes but not a lot of their products that's morphe this is their morphe 9n palette which is no longer available but they have other ones very similar but their blushes are super pigmented um i use their setting mist every day um, pretty much, but I haven't really gotten into a lot of their 
other products, their lip products. They do a lot of collabs with um, beauty influencers, Jeffree Star, James Charles, um, uh, Jaclyn Hill. Very cool that they work with a lot of influencers, na big names that people know that don't necessarily have their own brands, although Jeffree Star now does have his own brand. Another product I use a ton of, this is a newer product for me. This is the I Do Care Plush Party Buttery Vitamin C Lip Balm or Lip Mask. Oops. Um, I have been re using this mask religiously since I got it. It um, can be worn as a lip balm or as a mask and it is amazing it makes my lips feel so good before i got this my lips were having a really hard time they just felt dry and chapped and yucky all the time and this product has become like my holy grail i put it on a couple times a day put it on every night before you go to bed um, it's just an absolute must like once i use this i will for sure be repurchasing it um i love this product i it's amazing another more high-end brand that I absolutely love everything that I've used and they're my favorites in each of these categories is It Cosmetics. So their foundation, the Your Skin But Better CC Cream, is my favorite foundation. It's long wearing, it's full coverage, it gives you just this natural, natural finish. The color is amazing, it matches me so well. This tube has lasted me over six months. I'm probably gonna need to purchase a new one soon and it is pricey but it is so worth it, you guys. If you're looking for a flawless, gorgeous foundation, this is it. The CC Cream from A Cosmetics is my holy grail. Um, if you're looking to start with a high-end foundation and you have um, textured, oily skin or a lot of red coverage, this is it. Um, a Cosmetics has a whole line for red coverage, which I haven't messed with, but they also have a bye-bye under eye um, concealer and setting powder that are amazing. Um, another one of my absolute favorite products from them ta is the um, Superhero Mascara. It tops all mascaras for me. It's my absolute favorite, which I am actually out because I've been using the um, NARS, which is a good one, but it's not as good. It's not as amazing, but it's, um, It Cosmetics, if you're wanting to get into high-end makeup and you don't care about price, it Cosmetics is where it's at. I swear their skin products are amazing. Um, I slept on them for a long time. I did they I did not know how great it was. And um, one of my favorite YouTubers again uh, loved it and raved about it. And so I finally like broke down and spent the money and bought it. And I was like, oh my god, this is like this foundation is everything. If you watch my channel in the beginning, you would know because I use this foundation. In every video for so long because I couldn't stop it's like I I couldn't find anything to compare but um, the last part I want to talk about which I forgot in the shower is the Tula face wash a uh, purifying face wash it is amazing it's my absolute favorite face wash I also got it in a FabFitFun subscription and have since repurchased it it's so good. It's so clean. It really detoxifies and cleans out those pores. Um, I wish I had remembered it. I think the last time I talked about that product on my channel, I also forgot it in the shower. Um, that's where I keep it is in the shower. I a nighttime shower, so that's what I use to clean my face off and stuff. Uh, wipe my makeup off at night. Clean my face every time I'm in the shower is with that product, and I absolutely love it. This is going to conclude my video, you guys. I hope you guys like this video. If you haven't already, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Thank you for, so much for watching my video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.